It's for your own good. Are these people harassing you? Harassing him? We're his parents. I told you, Mother. This is for your protection. Protection? From what, exactly? He just got back from Delphi. Spoke with the Oracle. Been out of his mind ever since. She revealed my prophecy. My mind has never been more clear. She said I would do unspeakable things to my parents. That Mother's blood would stain the earth. And Pater would scream to the gods in agony. Oracles and prophecies do more harm than good. You should listen to your gut. <sighs> what are you doing? Listening to my gut. And it's telling me my parents will suffer if you don't help me. Here we go. You could save my parents from my vicious wrath. You don't have a vicious bone in your body. Quiet, Pater. Me and the Missios are talking. My sword and shield. Gifts from Mater and Pater. We must return them to my parents so they can defend themselves from my ferocious temper. All right, Supidio. I'll get these weapons for you. For a price. Of course. My parents would gladly pay you for your troubles. What? What? Seek out Costa, the village blacksmith. I brought him the sword to be sharpened not too long ago. And the shield? This will be trickier. I'll explain when you return from the blacksmith. Can't wait. You mustn't free me. These ropes are the only thing between my parents and my wrath. Please, Eros on Earth! Um, uh, my name is Costa, at your service. Alexios. Whatever you need, name it, it's yours. I could bend some metal for you, oil, those rippling muscles, uh, fix that broken spear. I'm looking for a sword. Belongs to Supidio. Ah, Supidio. Love that boy. Bit on the thin side, if you ask me. His parents feed him nothing. Yes. Well, he needs his sword back. And I'd love to give it to you. His sword, I mean. Uh, but I can't just uh, hand over swords to every gorgeous warrior who walks by. Give me the sword, and I'll make this a day you'll never forget. Oh, I'm... I... Uh, I just... Uh, that would make every dream I've ever had come true. Uh, there's just one tiny problem. Uh, you see, my spear is also broken, if you catch my meaning. Shame. But uh, there are special flowers in the forest beyond the Xerxes military fort, planted by Aphrodite herself. They really help to, um, reforge, uh, if you know what I mean. Fine. I'll get the flowers and you'll give me the spear. I mean, sword. I mean, don't go anywhere. <laughs> That should be enough to stoke the blacksmith's flame. Gorgeous, Mistios. You take my breath away. Did you bring the flowers? Can't even go flower picking without some beast trying to kill me. But yes, I have them. Perfect. So, did you mean what you said about making this a day I'd never forget? Enough talking. Eat your plants. That was incredible. Thank Aphrodite. <laughs> Thank all the gods. Here, as promised, I'll never forget you. No, you won't. I should get this back to Supidio's parents before he does anything. Stupidio. Hey, 
Mistios, you've returned. Did you bring the sword? I did. Thank the gods. I knew I could count on you. But this is only one of the items I needed. And I have two barons. So tell me about the shield. Well, according to my parents, it was stolen while I was visiting the Oracle of Delphi. Stolen? It's as good as gone, then. I overheard Mater and Pater whispering about it. They mentioned the cave beyond the Red Lake. Talked about the thief as if they knew her. Strange. Go to the cave, Mistios. Bring me back my shield. Only then will my parents be truly safe from my fury. <laughs> 